It's your boy T Money with another lit lit live reaction. Today we reacted to something a little serious. We reacting to your boy. I'll say the downfall of your boy Adam Twenty Two. Man, you know what I'm saying? You've seen he's been in a lot of crazy allegations. Um, there's a lot of beef going on between it. So we just gonna speak on it right there. No, I'm not saying that. It's just that women, you actually like got to consent to want to have sex with you. And if you're giving them money, that just feels kind of. I mean, so you're going to essentially have a full blown porn company. Yeah. It's basically this like bacterial infection. The STD tests that they give you don't test for it. A ton of people in the industry have gotten it. When I was like 21, I didn't realize that she was underage. But then we started talking on the phone one time and she just told me right away, like, cause I talked about how I had like spoken to her online when she was younger. And so I don't know, I just wasn't worried right. about fucking some fat girl that I met at the bar. Like, all right, I'm just gonna do it. There's no like mystery about it. There's no flirting. It's just like a, a body. It was nice to be able to nut on her boobs or whatever, but uh, let's be real. Like <laughs> it would have been nice if she could have at least like, Give me a yeah, look, he's look, wild for that. Like, fuck? My ex-girlfriend came out with this accusation saying that I raped her, which is, after that happened, many, many hours of investigation. The investigators told them that they didn't have anything solid to go on. And then you lost your record deal. Mm -hmm. All right, this video is going to cover every allegation of misconduct against the emperor of no jumper, Adam Grand Mace. Adam has been accused over and over again by many, many different people of doing some very disturbing things to his alleged victims. And I just wanted to cover all of it for you in case you forgot or don't know allegedly how incredibly dangerous and predatorial this guy is. This guy is one sick son of a bitch. Of course, this is all just my opinion. Nothing here is stated as fact. So let's get into the video here. So the first. Damn, this man is going in on him thing on the list here is the infamous tweets these are insanely disturbing tweets that adam put out when he was in his mid-20s and really made it clear what he's probably interested in i mean he's not looking for any older women if you catch my drift so you got these tweets but what comes next is actually physical so apparently adam damn that looks super predatorial right here i'm not gonna lie as bad that shit look like it could be your fucking daughter Adam was online dating a 16-year-old teenage sophomore in high school from Canada when he was over 21 years old. Really getting into the conversation. She told me she was underage. It's a big deal in America. In Canada, not necessarily as big a deal because, you know, it's legal there. Okay. But I've also, like, heard from, like, every Canadian person I ever talked to that that's still, like, looked down I want to get the facts again. So here's, uh, we got, and this is the reason why I feel like some of the reason stems off of why all these people that is on the screen right now are no longer part of, uh, the, you know, um, Adam 22 show, you know, no jumper or whatnot. Together so because based on it. I got phone calls. A lot of people is upset about this shit. And I want to break it down to everybody. So Whoa, Virginia? Spencer, I read starting in Virginia right now? So let me let me read it. Oh, go on. ahead. Richard Bernard Spencer is an American neo-Nazi, anti-Semitic anti -Semitic conspiracy theorist, and white supremacist. A former editor, he is a public speaker and activist on behalf of the all-right movement. <laughs> he shit. advocates for the reconstruction of the European Union to a white racial empire, which he believes will replace the diverse European ethnic identifies with one of home, was it homogeneous? Yeah, white no, identity. No, no, no. For the homogeneous. Homogeneous. It's homogeneous. Homogeneous. Okay, homogeneous. My Spencer fault. has advocated for the enslavement of Haitians by whites and for the ethnic cleansing of the racial minorities of the United States, additionally expressing admiration for the political tactics of the American Nazi Party. He was featured speaker at the August 2017 Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, among the other neo-Nazi rallies. And that is a place where a lady lost her, her life. So the person who he's speaking on is a person that Adam decided for some dumb reason to interview. So he's interviewing a neo-Nazi on the platform with that's a no jumper does interviews for raps. You got the black, all everything that has to do with black culture, but then you're interviewing all your co-hosts are black and you're in interviewing a neo-nazi so that sounds a little crazy right there over some shit that he led um i'm gonna she, say i'm gonna say this shit bro she lost her life during like the rally bro yeah because they over here bro what they did bro and just just hearing and reading a little bit just so we can have the context out there i'm a little disappointed to adam you feel me um this guy right here 
He's he said the N-word a lot of times. Wow. He said a lot of racial slurs. And that's what the hard R. It's not with the 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 easy A. I could, you know, only bet I ain't see the interview, but I mean if he's a if he's a uh a neo Nazi, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a hard R. Just towards our our people, um, it's obvious that he don't like black people like that. And the fact that he could come over here and get interviewed and not all this shit got shy past in the interview. I don't appreciate that Who shit. Interviewed him? Adam interviewed him. Man, let's jump that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Sit your ass no, but I'm a little I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> okay. I'm a little disappointed. I have Adam questions, know. right? I have questions. No, we're gonna do okay, that. Okay. I'm a little disappointed, Adam though, because like, you know, you have a mostly black staff. You feel what I'm saying? This this no jumper is is built off of hip hop. Thank you. Know you what what I was just and saying. That's right. Hip hop. Before you bring somebody over here, bro, like, nah. This your company. I ain't telling you what to do, but you gotta have more respect for your people, man. And hey, he said, hey, he stood stood on. That's why I fuck with AD because he did. You know, what I'm saying stand on top of business. You know, what I'm saying even on his on Adams platform still called him out saying that what he was did wrong because after what he did was absolutely wrong um it's no there was no excuse for uh, doing anything like that with the other allegations going on man this is the uh real downfall you know what i'm saying and losing all your your cast members now you, you know what i'm saying all the cast members that help build your brand is all no longer on uh, your platform and they're doing other things, you know, so who's going to stay if they're going to grow and be bigger, bigger than you. And that's what the real really, really stems down to why he really does not want to be, you know, what I'm saying why he doesn't want to see everybody else do good. You know what I mean? Um, So, man, there you have it, man. Yeah. Uh, leaving the comments of what you think about, you know, what I'm saying it is is. Should out of 22 be canceled, in your opinion, yes or no? And you think he could bounce back from this? Leave that in the chat, man. It's your boy T Money Makes Bucks with another lit live reaction. You know what I'm saying? I follow me on all socials. You know what I'm saying? We got we had to get real with it, had to throw the glasses on and get real and official on this one. You feel me? So, yeah, you already know. Um, Hit the bell for uh, to stay notified on all uh, content being dropped. You already know it's your boy T Money Makes Bucks and I'm out one.